BFF. Comrades. That says illegal foreigners must come to the country illegally, do crime in the country, sell illegal goods, abuse women, abuse children, abuse men, and they can't be traced because they'll be illegal in the country, which makes it impossible for law enforcement agencies to act on those people. It's the same EFF that finds nothing wrong with the Mazamas to rising our communities on day to day basis. Now, that EFF that calls itself economic freedom fighters, they are clear economic sabotagers. Because when our hospitals collapse, because of illegal foreigners, who do you blame? The government. When our schools collapse because of illegal foreigners, who do you blame? The government. Because you can't plan and budget for people you can account for in your own country. The only way you can plan and budget, you only plan and budget for those that you can account for in the country. Now the reason the work of the government of the ANC is always criticized and reversed. It is because of people which we can account for for the country. Now you can't say you are for the people of South Africa, but the best you do, every chance you tell you do, you sabotage the work of the country. Good evening, fam. Our latest will be about Julius Malima, EFF, Zamazamas, and the ANC Youth League president. Let's follow up on that. As we know, ANC is the ruling party and they've been governing and controlling almost everything since 1994. Since the ANC took over the government from the old regime, they have decided to neglect and open borders wide open for everyone to come into this country. Our borders are neglected and less secured comparing to the global communities and this is making it possible for illegal immigrants across the globe to come and settle in SA. Surprisingly, the ANC is now blaming the EFF for the border issue and they are saying illegal immigrants are here because of the EFF. Yes, the EFF makes some reckless comments in the past saying Africans must come to SA and if they are denied entry at the border gate, they must find creative ways to come illegally in SA. However, the ultimate responsibility to secure our border still lies with the ANC and if they did their part since 1994, we wouldn't be sitting with the issue of illegal immigrants and illegal uh, foreigners, illegal minors across the country. They are now shifting the blame to the EFF. Please let us know of your take regarding this. And that's all we have for now. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'll see you again in the next update. Bye.